Hey and welcome back. Today I thought I'd do a science news update, as there's so much science in the news. First of all, let's start with Elon Musk's amazing SN8 test launch from Boca Chino. This was his retro-style large passenger-carrying rocket that he hopes to fly to Mars on. And this test was to go up to an altitude of 41,000 feet, tilt the rocket over, glide down, retro, turn it round, and land it back on the pad. And it seemed to go really well. They got to altitude, they twiddled it round, it came back rather fast. And on landing, it suffered from an RUD. I love acronyms. Aerospace is full of them. And when Elon Musk was asked what was the RUD maneuver, he said a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. I hope that one comes into common parlance. I certainly will be using it on projects of things that I build. But on a slightly more successful space launch, NASA's tested the rocket engine they're going to use in their upcoming Artemis moon project. This looks like a very successful test. Well done, Artemis. And they've also named the 18 astronauts who are going to be part of the Artemis project, many of them women. Well done, NASA. As you know, and as you do, you write to me with stories. Oh, I got a good one today. This is a follow-up to Rendlesham. I think the best thing to do is me just read this guy's letter. It's really fascinating and thank him very much. I'm not going to mention your name, but you will know that you've sent me this letter and you will all be fascinated to hear what this very interesting chappy has to say about the strange UFO sighting at Rendlesham Forest. I wanted to get in touch for a couple of reasons. I joined the RAF in 1976 and served my entire career in the weapons engineering branch. I remember the Rendlesham Forest UFO incident very well. Although I was not based at US Air Force Woodbridge, I had occasion to visit the station in 1981. Any discussion of the UFO was actively discouraged. But over 40 years, I followed it with great interest. And I really like what you did in your film. Because you mentioned the 67th AARS folk who were actually based at Woodbridge. And nobody else mentions them. What exactly they did was on a need to no basis, but I did find out the true nature of the 66th AARS's mission, and it's this. They were tasked to retrieve any fallen space object, both civil, well, NASA at the time, or military in the North Atlantic or Europe. And they trained with a so-called boilerplate, and that's what we saw in my film, capsule, which they dropped all over the place, in the sea, in rural Wales, and their mission was to retrieve it using their large green helicopters. I think you were spot on in your explanation. Everybody, including me, now know that it was a craft retrieval exercise and no UFO was ever involved. Well, it is the logic. I think a lot of people who think about and analyze the Rendlesham UFO ignore the salient point, and that is what were the Americans, based at Woodbridge, actually there for? And when you understand that, that they were a space recovery team, the space recovery team for the US Air Force based in Europe, and that was their mission, to actually retrieve things that fall out of the sky, and they tested all the time their capabilities, a spacecraft falling out of the sky right next to their base, unscheduled test, that's what it was. <laughs> the chances of it being from a planet fucking Zog is zero. 
And I just think you should look at the facts and the truth will become obvious. Oh, I really like upsetting people because people really want to believe something strange happened. And of course, you know, a fiery spacecraft in the Rendlesham Forest in Suffolk is an unusual incident, but probably not from a distant planet. So for your fun, I'm going to share with you the live feed of the RUD incident <laughs> and wonderful Elon Musk spacecraft. Personally, I think it did really well. It did a lot of the maneuvers. It did go up very high. It looks, as a pilot, it looked like it was up there in the kind of over 25,000 feet, maybe the 41,000 feet that they wanted to do. But um, everything went a little pear-shaped <laughs> on landing. Supposedly what happened was there was low fuel pressure, so it didn't really have the retro braking which led to the RUD incident. Get your cup of coffee, sit back and enjoy a bit of space fun. Fly safe everybody, because the truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.